Every morning at dawn, Kruba Nu Chai leads his trainee Buddhist monks on a 10-kilometre trek through the hills of northern Thailand along the border with Burma. The objective is to instil discipline in the abbot's recruits who mostly come from the surrounding hill tribes. Of course, they also have to rely on their horses, which have been donated to the monastery or saved from the knackery. They're not properly shod and there are no saddles. Dao Nur joined the Golden Horse Monastery four years ago when he was just seven. At the time, he was in trouble for stealing. The abbot says he's been inundated with boys like Daunur who can no longer stay at home and have nowhere else to go. Fifteen years ago, the abbot was a professional boxer, married and had two young children. He took time out, as he describes it, in search of peace. The search took him to this cave, where he says he found not just contentment, but enlightenment as well. ทีนี้มาเห็นชาวบ้านเห็นชาวเขาลําบากก็เลยมีความรู้เค้ามีความรู้รู้สึกว่าใจของเขาไม่สงบทําให้ชีวิตของเขาเนี่ยทํางานผ
โลกไม่ไม่ค่อยเป็นเรียนหนังสือครับ Sam Moon was sent to the Golden Horse Monastery after his father was jailed for taking drugs. He says he's happy being a Buddhist monk and he loves his horses Kong Fa and Nata. ไม่รู้ว่าขนาดเป็นยังไงไม่รู้เถอะตอนนี้อยู่อย่างนี้ไปก่อนแล้ว It may be a monastery, but even here, there's no taking the little boy out of the little monk. The fun is short-lived. If they're to eat, the monks must go in search of offerings or alms, which may be their only meal for the day. And today, they're on their way to visit the nearest hill tribe village. Despite having little themselves, these hill tribe people share whatever they have every time the monks visit, and that can be most days of the week. The villagers put more emphasis on magical spirits than Buddhism, even so they maintain a special reverence for their neighbours in the Golden Horse Monastery. They may have been neglected, abandoned, orphaned, or even petty criminals, but these young Buddhist novices and their charismatic abbot appear very much at peace.